All right, let's get into safety, which is key. I've got to cover safety. First of all, balloons. In a parent top class, just Mylar balloons, no latex balloons. American Academy of Pediatrics has had statements on that before that children can choke on latex balloons. So you want to make sure you don't have any balloons. Um, now, I do have some pictures later in the book, and you will look for these safety pictures so that you can see what it is that I'm talking about. Um, don't hold the wrist on the balance beam. I don't know if you've heard of nursemaid elbow, but when you are pulling on a child, a lot of times, and why it's done that is because nursemaids would, come here, come on, follow me, yank at them, and stretch the ligaments and the tendons in the elbow, and it's called nursemaid's elbow. But you can do that by the parents walking down the balance beam, the parents are walking alongside, child on the balance beam, child starts to fall off, mom grabs the arm. So you always teach the parents, and of course you would be spotting the children from the back, holding the waist, never the wrist, okay? Um, don't have parents jumping off balance beams, and definitely kids not under the balance beams when kids are on top of the balance beams. Don't put kids on balance beams any higher than their waist or their shoulders, um, because uh, it's just, like chest size, it's just too scary for them, and it's not safe. Number one, can you imagine if you walked up to something and, the, and it was four inches wide and it's this high where you're standing up, you're gonna, somebody's going to lift you up and put you up there? You're like, ah, no, 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 let alone a little child that doesn't know what's up there and has the reasoning to figure out that there are mats underneath there. So low beams, floor beams and low beams are plenty for parent tie classes. That's why parent tie classes can be done in dancing school. You don't need high beams. And if you have high beams, build it up with mats. How far is it? You know what? Let me keep going. I, I don't want to, yeah, okay, next one's dismounting. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Dismounting, how safe is it, um, or how high is it safe for a child to dismount from the balance beam? I like to say from their knees down. Do you know how short that is? That's only a few inches even, maybe six inches, eight inches. But if we look at a school-age child or an older preschool child and say that the safe distance for a child to dismount is the same distance that they could take off on a two-foot jump and jump up on the balance beam, that's not very far. So be Conservative in that, if you want to err, err on the conservative side and make it nice and low. 